Coach Spahn, seller. First off, uh, new green on. What's going on? Where's the red? Where'd the red go? Can you dip that hat a little bit for me? Yeah. Well, I've, uh, well, heck, I've been wearing red for what, the last eight years? So Nine years. Nine years. Nine yeah. years, right? Um, but no, I made the switch from Edinburgh to Ohio University uh, just recently. I uh, actually moved down there yesterday and uh, I knew about this combine up here and I was like, oh, I got to drive up here and, and make an appearance at least. And uh, But no, I moved uh, to Ohio University and I uh, took the first assistant position there. Uh, I thought it was a good move for me. What is the, the movement that they had as far as coaches? Who did they? Who did you guys lose and who did you gain? Well, uh, two coaches there, uh, Hanson and uh, Hanson. And uh, Jermaine Lindsay both uh, moved on to new endeavors. Uh, and we picked up Eric Morrill, who was an Edinburgh grad and was at Virginia Tech as a club coach there. So uh, picked him up as a second assistant and then, uh, then I jumped in as a first assistant with Joel. So, you know, looking at this, this move for you, you go from being second assistant at Edinburgh to now you're the first assistant at, Ohio, assistant at Ohio University. You come back to Ohio. What's that like coming back to Ohio from Pennsylvania? Well, I'll tell you one thing, I don't feel like a foreigner anymore. <laughs> Something about it, if you're from the state of Ohio, you know uh, Ohio's home. You know, it's Ohio against the world, right? Everybody says, and uh, so it makes me feel real comfortable to be back. Even though I'm not back home, per se, uh, but I'm, I'm back home in the state of Ohio, and so it makes me feel real comfortable. Um, I love Pennsylvania. I love Edinburgh. The people at Edinburgh are amazing people. Um, but it does feel good to be back in the state of Ohio. And looking at the you know uh, Ohio University from you know 49 through heavyweight, and that's who you're going to be working with predominantly. Probably not heavyweight as much with Joel, but you know you look at that. You guys got four surefire All-American candidates, in my opinion. You already got an All-American at 74 with Walters, but what do you got to do to, to get those guys to the next level? You what you did at Edinburgh? How do you bring that culture to Ohio University? Well, I think the kids, uh, the kids definitely work hard. You know, it's uh, just a matter of just doing little tweaks here and there, and uh, really just trying to tap into their full potential. And and uh, like I said, any kid at really Division One level wants to win. You know, they they all had success in their life, and and uh, I think it's just kind of bringing what I've learned at at uh, the places I've been. And maybe trying to implement a little bit of things and trying to play with it, you know, off their strengths too. And uh, so it's just really, uh, I'm there to assist, right? So uh, really, just help them, you know. And I'll and I'll play and with things and and uh, try to put my mentality into them a little bit and hopefully uh, get the best out of them. Looking at Ohio University last year, three round of twelve guys. One of the round of 12 guys is in like a real weird spot right now in Taiwan Claxton. Do you have any information on what the NCAA is doing with Taiwan? Because he transferred from King College to Ohio U. It was round of 12 last year. Don't know how he lost a match. It was crazy. Neff from Lockhaven hits a crazy flip in overtime. I don't know if you saw it. I, I didn't. I, I remember it. I didn't see it personally. Um, but with, with uh, Claxton, I'm not sure. All I know is he had two weigh-ins. That was it. Uh, that that why he was at the college before. And uh, but I don't know any inside right now, just because I just got there. Um, so with that, <laughs> I can't tell you much more than that. It's kind of crazy, right? It it's is because you know, it's two weigh-ins that they're saying was a season from, for him. From what I'm understanding, it wasn't even close to 25 percent of a season. Uh, I don't know what the NCAA is doing. I don't know how how the how it's being pursued at Ohio University either. You're, you're uh, new to the scene. Like yeah, you said. very new. So I mean, this week, literally. Yeah, literally. Well, yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. I mean, this, you just put the new green team on yeah, this week. Yeah. Well, today. <laughs> today, literally. What, yeah. So you know, when you look at that, obviously you don't know much about that scenario, but you guys need 149. You need 157. Sparty's done. You got to start at 65 as a young guy. You kind of got to build around that guy. Yeah, we got some. We got some really young talent in there. Kate Kowalski, Kaminsky, uh, Ohio kids, Cameron Kelly. Uh, Shakir, uh, Laney, and all those kind of guys. Those are smaller guys. So I think they're really they're, they're, the lightweights are, are pretty solid and it's made up mostly Ohio kids, you know, and I think that's a big uh, thing that o o OU's doing is they're recruiting a lot from in-state. And uh, But yeah, I think I think really uh, we got an older group of bigger guys and uh, we just got to build around those and, and get those weights. And, and I mean, for me, the recruiting, uh, this, this, you know, early signing period is going to be kind of rough, but I think when uh, we get into the, the spring and, the, you know, the high State tournament, stuff like that, you can really get those late signees and hopefully I can really contribute. What do you look for out of, a, like, this combine today? What are you looking for? Well, I kids? wish I could see their numbers on their shirts. <laughs> it's like a reflective one. Yeah, I can't see it either. And, uh, 
But it's really just looking for kids that, uh, you know, are showing some, some talent, some sparks and, and there, here and there, and just really get, uh, really just get, you know, Ohio uh, University Bobcat out there and let them see that we're here watching them. That's a big thing because you really not you really can't do much. It's really hard to see a lot because you're trying to focus on one guy, then you see a kid hit a nice high crotch to a finish there, and so it's like it's all over the place. But uh, I think really just um, kind of being here and seeing that we actually care is, is a good thing too. All right, you got anything else for me? I'm excited. I'm really am. It's a little nerve wracking, you know, making a transition, especially this late, you know, because I feel like I have a lot to learn. I think uh, Edinburgh really prepared me uh, and gave me some new tools and ideas. You know, being under, I consider one of the best coaches in the country, and Tim, and I know you love him. <laughs> He's the man. Tim Flynn is probably, I think, the best coach in the country, in uh, my opinion. So I think they really helped me, you know, and I'm super thankful for them, but I'm also pumped for the opportunity I get here. All right, coach. Good luck this season. Go, green team. <laughs> Go.